questions? Yeah, uh, how important was it to uh, bounce back in this way after, uh, after the game against uh, BBB? Massive, of course. It's uh, You want to see a reaction. Uh, and the players, they've been brilliant in training. Uh, and we were quite confident before we went into this game that we uh, we found the uh, the right team selection and the right how do you call it temper temperament because uh, there's a balance between being too eager after after you've uh, having lost the game so today was brilliant well we've um, We've had a couple of good days of training, and of course, you want him to to see space and find space. Him under as well today tonight was allowed more freedom to roam uh, forward, because uh, lately it's been more asked to sit. Today we uh, we needed more arrivals in the box because of Marcus and Rom being a bit wider as well. Yeah. What can you say about? Well, it's he had a tough game against PSG, but I thought it was it was one of our, oh, probably our best player then, because but he had two or three players around him all the time. Tonight, great response. Of course, he's playing against one of the best defensive midfielders in the world with uh, Kante next to him. But it, I thought today he um, he found the spaces. He's we know, we know he's one of the best attacking midfielders in the world. You know he's got uh, vision. He's got the uh, clear view of. So the pass, the, the cross for Anders, goal, fantastic. Then again, he plays it out to Marcus. Then the way he makes up ground and gets into the box, fantastic. Oli, have you two seen this season made a point of not stifling Jorginho in that midfield slot shot play? Yeah. Is that something that you prioritise, something you've looked at the other teams as well? Well, we've, uh, there's different ways of uh, stopping a team, and they've got so many good players. So Juan did a fantastic job between the two centre backs and Jorginho. Uh, he w ran his socks off uh, and he stopped D Luis when he had to, he stopped Jorginho when he had to, and he went up to Rudiger a few times. So I thought Juan's work rate was uh, phenomenal. Well, uh, United have such a wonderful history and tradition in the Champions League, don't they? Yeah. Do you think that was reflected in the, in the performance tonight? Well, we. We lost the final to Chelsea last year. Uh, my last game was a loss to, <laughs> to Chelsea in the FA Cup final. That was my last game for United. Last time we beat them in the Cup was 20 years here ago, apparently. Uh, so um, we do have a tradition in the Cup. We want to get to the final. It's going to be a tough, tough uh, away game against Wolves. But then it seems like both we and our fans love the away games. You know, the, it didn't feel like an away game with, when you got that support behind the goal. Well, how important is uh, Ander Herrera in this team? We talk a lot about Pogba, we keep spoken about Matic today. How important is Herrera in terms of his uh, leadership on the pitch and you know, popping up with the goal that he did today? His energy and uh, tenaciousness is, uh, is vital for us and uh, that's why he plays more or less every single game. He's, uh, he's got loads of energy, uh, he can cover the right-hand side, he, he runs forward. Uh, tonight, I think... Uh, you can't just praise one. It's eleven players plus the subs. Because, but Ander, of course, is he's done fantastic. Do you think that this result and the performance has any greater significance than just success in terms of top four races? Well, well, we've we've just got to build on the positives tonight. We know we're going to play Liverpool next week. Uh, but Chelsea, Arsenal and us, we're going to fight about that fourth position. I think there's three good teams for that one, so um, I don't think that will affect it too much. This is this was about getting through to, uh, to the next round. Okay, guys, thank you. Okay, thanks.